Today I'm gonna be search and rescue, except this time there's a natural disaster every five minutes. Let's get started. So we also have um weather doing whatever it wants. So we don't have any custom weather today. So we're gonna be dealing with whatever this game brings on. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. And we have a rescue mission actually available right now, which we need to go to. So let's turn on systems, disable the clutch here and starter, and then um turn on disable the clutch, and then that's how you start this thing. Let's turn on some emergency lights here. So lab lights, rescue lights, research lights, deck lights. All right, so where are we heading today? Oh my gosh, that's pretty far okay what is this um a volcano response what in the world and then what is this oh my gosh we have to rescue someone okay a blue boat requires servicing uh, transport a blue boat to the olsen dock village oh my god um, that's so far away okay i don't know how this is gonna work but we need to get over there as fast as we can because i think they're definitely an emergency we have an active volcano eruption over there so we need to go over there as fast as we can and a whole uh 18 kilometers to go so this is gonna be a little rough voyage here but while we're going there we're gonna turn on um autopilot here once we go in between these bridges because autopilot would definitely run us straight into one of those um poles that are like every 20 feet so where's autopilot at so we can get ready okay we'll put that in and then we click that for autopilot and then we'll click that once we go through here um guys i hear some sirens already it's already happening there's already stuff going on what it's not even five minutes okay whatever um autopilot on okay autopilot's on there's some type of disaster going on right now i have no idea what it is but we need to be prepared for the worst but before we um actually die by anything we need to take a little bit of a tour of this thing so we have all this welding equipment right here a radiation detector so this boat is made for all types of um natural disasters and hazardous activities so this thing is a beast then we have this um little maintenance hatch in here with two welders right here and then we have some more scuba suits and firefighting outfits and then all the way back here we have a grand spanking kitchen in this thing with a walk-in bathroom and a walk-in shower like this thing is just packed full they really filled this thing with all the necessary equipment and then we have a bed right here and then this is our um engine room back here so we have two of these powerful engines at 96 percent efficiency that is crazy honestly whoever built this is definitely good at building engines and then up here i forgot to show but we have um six seating up here so four right here two right here and then a medical bed with two defibrillators and a whole bunch of first aid kits but that's basically the boat here let's continue anything that we can visually see um, I don't see any visual disasters yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. So hopefully it's just a false alert, but you always know how that goes. But we are um, full throttle. Oh, no, we're not. Why weren't we full throttle? Okay, we need to hammer it. Go, go, go. Guys, the weather's getting very bad out here. I don't know. We're losing um, visibility here. The waves are picking up. It's not looking too good here. I think we're going to enter a storm here. Hold on. Let's check our weather map. So this is our map right here, and we're going that way. And then let's check uh, wind right here. Oh, my gosh. We're getting hit with a massive storm. Um, each one of these red parts is basically like hurricane type waves. So, oh, lovely. There's some like really light shades of red over here. But let's go to uh, rain over here. And we're definitely in a pretty bad spot right here. But um, it should kind of even out over here. But there's a whole bunch of rain in this map going on. So we need to watch out for that. But we're going to continue going over here. I don't. I still don't see any disasters yet. So it's probably a false alert, which is great. Oh my gosh, these waves are so big. They're like twice or the size of this thing. This is crazy. Okay, we might have to throttle it down here maybe a little bit. We're still on full throttle, but we're being propelled by water right now. But when we get airtime, it completely stops this thing because it can't take out any water from the ocean to propel us, basically. Oh, I think I... Hold on. Do you guys see that over there? Um, we can't see it in first person, but third person. Uh, do you guys see that volcano over there? I definitely see a volcano. Okay, that's where we're going to right now. And supposedly, that's going to erupt or it already has erupted. So hopefully it doesn't erupt when we're over there. But these waves are getting crazy. Hold on. Let's check the percentage of these waves right now. It's only on 50%. Oh my gosh, guys. Could you imagine what 100% is? That would be so crazy. But that's not happening unless the game wants it to, but hopefully not. All right, we're starting to get pretty close. I have a clear view of... Wait, what? There's two volcanoes over there. Okay, that's a little concerning, but um, we got six kilometers to go. And there's some other islands over here that we can abort to just in case. Because, um, yeah, we might sink. Actually, we shouldn't sink. This thing has bilge pumps, right? Yeah, uh, bilge pumps on. So we actually have automatic bilge pumps on this thing. So there is nothing to be worried about here. But six kilometers to go. And I'll see you guys when we're there or if anything crazy happens on the way there. All right, we're going past the volcanoes right now. We're just looking for that person. So we don't exactly know where they are at. But I'm wondering where these disasters are at. Because it's definitely been five minutes. Hold on, is that it right there? Um, is that it? I just saw something spawning. Is that a blue boat? Hold on, let's throttle down here. We need to get a closer view of this. 
Is that a blue boat? Um, I thought it was blue. I don't know. Hold on. Is that it? Let's put a waypoint on it. No, it says it's over there, though. I think there's something wrong here, but that does look like a blue boat. Is that a blue boat? Hold on. Let's go over there and just check it out. Um, that is blue, I think. Hold on. Is there anything? Oh, there's one over there, too. I think that's definitely it if it's, um, yeah, that's definitely it. We're going over there. I'm sorry if you're the one that needs help, but, um, we're going over there because there's something over there. I don't know if it's sinking or not. It looks pretty low in the water unless it's like a smaller boat. We're currently responding code three and we are, um, currently in ultimate overdrive. There is one, two, three, four volcanoes I see currently, um, putting out some smoke. So, Hopefully those don't erupt, but they're definitely not going to because I'm here. You know how that goes. We're arriving on scene. We're arriving on scene. What's going on over here? Is this dude sinking? Um, we do have wenches on here, so we supposedly have to bring them all the way over there. That's going to be a whole process here, but let's just see if he's okay. Most important part. Oh, did his engines just fail? That might be what happened here. Um, okay, okay. It is blue. Okay, we're going to pull up right next to him here. Um, what's going on over here? Did your engines shut off on you? Okay, we are here. Sorry about the slow response time. We had some engine troubles back there. <clears throat> No, we didn't. We were just going pretty slow. All right, let's go right up next to him and kind of see if we can attach a rope to this thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, anyways, um, we need to go attach a rope to this. Let's go out here. All right, um, any ropes? A submarine cable requires servicing. I'm already doing something, game. There's definitely no time for me to be doing other stuff. Um, engine room hatch. Definitely don't want to open that. Uh, how do we get a rope? Okay, we got a rope. We got to grab our wench right here. Where's our wench at? The waves are like, there we go. Okay, we got a wench. We want to attach this rope to the front of their boat, and they're like driving away from me. Hold on. We can't actually connect to them if they're going to drive away. Okay, we're going to go up front just like that. We got our wench here, and we got to jump on their boat and not miss. Here we go. Jump on their boat. Go. There we go. All right. Do they have ropes up here? Perfect. Okay, so we have attached them. Is there anyone on board here that um needs to be um, brought on my boat? Because I don't want to have anyone um on this boat. Uh-oh. Uh, I think I capsized. Oh, my word. No way I just capsized this boat. Oh, I'm such a good rescuer here okay anyways we need to just drive out of here all right we're towing a capsized boat behind us we had some technical difficulty oh that is a super close uh, rope right there i don't really want that uh that close is there anyone inside of their interior here i hope not because i don't know where else they would be the oh there we go okay flip back over but now what we want to do is go on this wench back here and definitely um start extending it why is this thing turning so bad oh stop turning stop turning feel like they're turning for us is there a rudder turn yeah they're like turning their rudder stop turning your rudder there's something wrong guys there's something oh it's the waves never mind okay yeah we're getting pushed by the waves the waves are so strong right now okay this is us on literally full throttle we're not going as fast as you can tell but we're gonna go do a complete stop here and shut down and just and uh kind of put some slack in this rope because we don't want them really that close to us so what we're gonna do is do winch out here start lowering it as much as we can so this is how far it's going out and we want this to probably max out or get close to maxing out so it's getting pretty far all right it maxes out at 40 now let's actually go on their boat and not capsize it and see if there's anyone on here because if there is we cannot have them on here all right anyone alive in here hello hello oh don't have that open we don't want to flood their boat here anyone in here okay this is our little dinky engine rum this is a really weak engine here wait their engine doesn't even work it's just connected straight up to a generator um oh it's like a okay high or whatever um there's no one in here though honestly okay i'm gonna take one of their jackets though because that's what i get for rescuing them um it's not letting me out of here okay there we go now we need to go back on my boat what's going on we just hit like a rogue wave or something okay i think this can flip back over because it has a good design to it okay well their boat's stuck upside down i'm trying to tow it but it's just too much resistance but i guess i'll, I'll continue trying it j but it's just dragging them upside down i don't think that's really that good for their boat if i'm gonna be honest definitely don't want to be ruining their boat like that why is my screen like shaking hold on do you guys feel that that's kind of cool what in the world oh what's going on with the volcano oh my gosh nope hammer it we're out of here uh the volcano's erupting nope we need to leave right now okay we're towing a boat right now that's flipped upside down and we're trying to escape a volcano that's oh my gosh there's about to be so much ash over here i see the wave of ash going towards us okay keep going keep going it's spilling all over the place oh no uh, i'm gonna put on an oxygen mask i think is that a flipped boat over there oh my word what is going on with this map uh guys it's getting pretty ashy in the sky here oh gosh okay where are we going where are we going we need to turn on autopilot immediately so we'll put it like right over there put on autopilot like that autopilot's already on okay well that was kind of probably not a good sign oh there's so much ash the wave is directly behind us it's catching up so fast guys i don't think we're gonna outrun it the wave of ash oh my gosh i definitely see it uh oh nope it's gonna absorb us oh no 
Oh, here it is. Okay, the Volcano Wave of Ash. What will it do to us? Um, okay, the, our boat back there is in the Volcano Wave of Ash, and now we're in it. Okay, um, I don't really see anything that different, I guess. I mean, it's not really that crazy i thought it'd be a little bit worse if i'm gonna be honest it might just be for show but we're dry we're completely dragging that boat back there we're in overdrive we're just trying to get out of this area here i definitely want to close the door let's go look for some oxygen mask in here let's get a radiation detector check oh wait hold on our radiation detector is reading something i think oh my word okay i'm putting on a hazmat suit do we have a hazmat suit in here i'm taking this off where's my hazmat suit i need one right now immediately does this thing really not have a hazmat suit are you joking me Okay, never mind. This thing is not made for all situations. I was joking. Well, we're going to continue going over there. We have 17 kilometers. We have to drag this dude. Oh, he's about to flip. Um, Hold on. Let's try doing some turns here to flip him back over because we definitely don't want to be dragging him like that the entire time if we don't have to. I don't think it's going to work. We're just going to keep going over there. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but yeah. Okay, we're just driving up past another boat over here. They look like they're doing fine, but I definitely... Oh, okay. Our boat flipped back over. Okay, that's good, but um, there is no one inside of that thing. Who even picked them up because it wasn't me? Hopefully they didn't drown and I was supposed to be looking for them because that that clearly didn't happen um we're like halfway there so we're definitely not we're definitely not halfway there okay wait what is this forest fire oh oh yeah that's from the volcano erupt i'm not putting out a forest fire ain't no way i'm going back there you could not pay me enough to do that unless it was like two thousand dollars and i might but there's a little fishing boat over there um anything crazy going on underwater i don't think so does this thing have um sonar i don't think we do okay and then bilge pumps are not active okay we have no water but we're on max throttle and we're going 40 knots okay so that's not too bad definitely seen worse but but the waves are definitely picking up so bad oh gosh i'm getting some major air time just like that you guys see that that is some big air time we should not be getting in this thing this thing should be sticking straight to the water but um it might be because we're going too fast here but we're trying to do this as fast as possible dude what are these waves hold on let's check our waves 44 percent. yeah there's definitely waves picking up here guys i'm gonna grab a radio here just in case because you never know so let's go back up here oh my gosh what in the world is that why does that have to happen right now we're literally towing a boat that was in an emergency um okay uh okay i'm trained on this guys i'm trained on this we have to hit it full throttle going forward actually i don't know about full throttle but we have to hit it going forward i'm a trained professional at this all right here we go can we survive this tsunami in this search and rescue boat this is gonna be interesting here all right we're starting to rise it i can definitely feel it hopefully the boat back there doesn't completely sink uh-oh oh no we're completely submerged full throttle we need to get out of here oh my gosh oh uh oh we have some air time oh we have some major air time oh no uh oh um please don't capsize our boat okay i think we're good hold on did we survive that no way we actually survived um our engine did stall there though uh oh hopefully we didn't have water in our engine here um okay start it back up okay perfect oh they capsized oh my gosh what in the world is wrong with this game but we did survive that's all that matters i mean me i survived i don't know about the people behind us but there's no one in that boat so honestly who cares I, i'm just i think we're just bringing it back there for some scrap pieces at this point because there's really not going to be a whole lot left when we're uh back there hold on emergency call from the raptor lighthouse saying they have a fire that's blocking them in the building entrance oh my gosh uh yeah i'm sorry that sounds like their situation not mine i i I'm busy right now and we're not going over there. All right, guys, we're um, going to the island we actually came from. So we came from this island, but we need to go, what, eight kilometers past the island we came from. But we need to squeeze through this little bridge here. I don't know if we should have gone through this area here or the bigger part over there, but I think we're going to go through this one right here. Um, Can we fit through there? Hopefully it's not too shallow. Hold on. Is there like a depth thing on here? Oh, gosh. I don't think there is. That's a little concerning. Uh, Their boat is still capsized back there, so it's probably disintegrating in the water as we speak. But we're going to try squeeze through here this definitely looks like uh area that's not gonna work for us but we're gonna see here we go oh gosh guys i can see my shadow in the water oh my gosh it's so shallow over here okay avoid the rocks we definitely want to avoid the rocks here here we go we're avoiding the rocks just like that perfect perfect and oh my gosh okay don't hit the rocks don't hit that uh oh oh no oh that was so close we almost just hit the pole okay you don't want to be doing that you definitely don't want to be doing that but we're only maxing out at about 41 kilometers all right so this is exactly wait hold on this is an island how do we get through here um oh oh we have to go through that tunnel right there oh we should have gone on the right side definitely now we have to turn all the way over there and go two kilometers all right all right we're entering the river right here why is there like it's like so shallow over there oh my gosh hopefully we don't beach ourselves here because it does look a little bit shallow okay now we need to go 
all the way over here. So what is that? Another five kilometers. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not the worst. I mean, we've gone probably 40 kilometers today. So that's definitely not far at all. We're going to try squeezing through that rock right there. Let's squeeze through this rock. Here we go. All right. Can we fit through this rock? Oh my word. It is so shallow right here. All right. We're squeezing through the rock right here. And of course, we're going to make it because I'm a good driver. Of course, of course. But can the boat make it? Oh, perfect. Oh, uh oh um i saw something break hold on is there any damage oh no oh that's their radar too oh that's so expensive that is so expensive okay hopefully we don't get money taken away uh because we definitely just broke something on their radar there oh my word okay we keep going four and a half kilometers that is nothing we're getting some alerts here saying there's something foreign coming from the sky here is there anything in the sky i think it's another false alert guys nothing to work oh my gosh those are meteors coming through the sky oh uh oh we need to hammer it we need to hammer it there's meteors coming down oh that's a huge one right there that's a huge one. Oh, oh oh it destroyed my boat oh that's perfect that's exactly what we need and there's a tornado over there oh no okay we definitely just failed that now there's a forest fire over there oh my gosh well i don't know what to say it despawned my boat i hate when it does that but you know sometimes that does happen but that's probably gonna be it for this video guys we were so close just four kilometers away but make sure you guys stay updated on our search and rescue series hope you enjoyed the video make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell but thanks for watching and goodbye